Okay. We're beginning episode four. Wait, you can look back at all your choices. Ooh. Okay, continue. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. All the way back to the beginning, you know huh? Who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with? Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Ah, oh, that lip sync. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Okay, let's find out what happened with that. Paralyzed Chloe. Alive, real dad. Bus driver, not stepdad anymore. Tells you this every episode. We get it. Features player choice. Hey, a crab. Everything feels so peaceful now that Chloe's paralyzed and a dead whale on the beach. Always gotta be some catastrophe. She stops the tornado, starts this. Look at that! Arcadia Bay isn't gonna need to go whale fishing anytime soon. Is it still fishing if they're not a fish? Mammaling? So so, Chad. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. 
I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. Yeah, At except they're dead. I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Oh, so she got in a car accident. I'm not blame William. I'll talk about the accident. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. I'll say what missing girl. She obviously doesn't know who Rachel is if it's the same one. Hi there. We're just starting. What, what missing girl? I don't know her name. I just read about it in the news. I feel bad for her family. This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. What should I say? I don't know. Don't say that seems like the typical response. But maybe I'll say it might be. I'll say you think. Do you think so? I uh, haven't kept up with the details. I have more time on my hands than you. Plus, I'm a science nerd. But none of this makes sense. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. Out of goal? Okay, we'll see you. Hey, Mahendo. Not much opportunity to say anything. They keep talking nonstop. Okay, Chad, are you still here? I wanted to ask you, what kind of monitor did you get? Like, what brand and stuff? And I'm talking about your brand spanking new 144 hertz. Listen? To what? The game? Doesn't it have beautiful music? I agree. Wait, you got that one? That's the same monitor I have, you troll. Oh, it's a pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you're here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. 
Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Ah. The doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. I have a sente. I saw your. But you're still amazing. Last you of us stream earlier. Since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you can you bring me some water? Did they update that monitor, or is it still one of the best? Because wasn't it like the first 144 hertz, or one of the first anyway? It's like four years old now, though, or three or something. You just you just finished a five-hour stream. Holy crap! Can I turn off the ventilator? Will she get killed? I guess she can't defend herself. So mouth control joystick. Ugh. Chloe is still a punk at heart. She can't stage dive anymore. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. So what are you doing talking with you? Haha, <laughs> no poo poo. I'm about to binge on Quantum Leap. Uh, okay, I don't know what they're talking about. So she has friends. Are they also paralyzed? It's like a disabled online community. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. You know we love you and you're in our hearts and thoughts. We hope to see you smile and face soon. Ryan and Vanessa, that's her parents' name. So those snow globes. So cool that you're here but that won't be broken I'm if I broke it so. earlier. Don't see why I would, but what if that's like a... The colors aren't great. Yeah, it took a lot of tweaking to get it to... The colors now look all muddy and whatever. But I've been using this monitor for a long time, so... So I don't... I'm used to it by now, I guess. The colors look fine to me. Well, they look good, actually. 144 oh, FPS yeah. Half-Life. No I can I imagine. Dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. What do you remember? You're right. I don't know, if I say what do you remember should be like, uh, you think I got brain damage or something? I still know stuff just because I'm paralyzed. There's a lot of people who actually complain about super high frame rates like that. They're like, oh, it's too smooth. You're what the right. heck? I wish I could take us all the way back there again. Wish I could build us a DeLorean. Oh, well, um... With your scientific mind, you might do that. But time travel can screw things up, too. Plus, you'd have to be my living assistant to help me build a machine. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which friends? I'll say the you nice one. Me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me. What friends? I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. Really, PA? That's what my parents are for. That's very strange. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, There's a danger zone sign on the bathroom. The That's funny. so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane.
If I say, I can they pay, it makes it sound like she's... This tech must be crazy expensive. Along make her feel drugs, guilty the they're paying for it. Supplies. Mom and dad are always broke, and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now Didn't she the in the pictures the with the and you better not fall asleep on me like you turn Rachel do when we watch movies I remember just one streak of blue I swear I won't fall asleep not when you're here not yet PA I think you're either losing your mind or someone was hacking you should I use a tissue sure Thanks. I uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb. A spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like the butterfly thing. <laughs> so I've heard. Nothing but medical supplies. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep You're her You're sending him help. Better make it fast. I don't think he can last much longer. Maybe I could try the mouse control joystick. It's nice my parents sent a call. I already read this. What am I doing? Holy crap, a lot more letters though. Thinking of you, dear Real Chloe. Nice. I'm so sorry for what happened. Know that I'm here for you if you need anything. Chloe, I just thought I'd drop you a quick note to let you know I'm thinking about you. I feel so lame writing poo poo like you. I hope you are well. At least okay, sent so. road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. Yeah, I'm sure it did. At least she can't move to kill herself if she wanted to. Uh, here's hey, the Resident TV. Evil. I'm sure you know what happened, but we went to the beach, and now we're back, and that's all you missed. Oh, this is... It's barely recognizable with not blue hair. She's kind of acting creepy. Gas mask optional for the bathroom. Nasty. Fell asleep watching that movie three years ago. Were you trying to, did you predict that Life is Strange would come out and then try to reenact it in the past? I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How yeah, you? she's a girl with blue hair, but you we went down, back in time and me. now she's paralyzed, Blade but at least her hair is not blue. Movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. 
I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again, it meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck, um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wagon. Save when she's not addicted to, to drugs but you with blue so hair. She's addicted to medical usage drugs with brown hair. Actually, you know what? You can wait. I'll look at, I'll look around. Holy movies. I guess. What else can she do? But how is she gonna oh get God. up and change the I disc? I for her when we were twelve. So I don't know why, but and why I thought of this. But what if Max was deaf and Chloe was paralyzed? How would wow. Chloe wake Max up if Chloe she was sleeping was on her like that? Student. She could have gone to any college. So she gets expelled God when her dad bastard. dies and straight so A otherwise. I'm so glad Chloe stole your bullshit fund. Even if it wasn't another reality. So why is she saying that? I mean, if the school... Wait, uh... They're outside of GPA, there's no doubt. Welcome her. How is she mad at the principal? Does she seriously expect him to renovate the whole school to accommodate one paralyzed student? I think that's asking a bit too much. Maybe the way he wrote it was the part that was insulting or something, I don't know. There, was your morphine injector? I assume it's not in the bathroom. Uh, maybe the toxic fumes in there would numb the pain. Wait a minute. Didn't that door lead to the garage last time? So they turned the garage into... God damn, the bills in the rent. They turned part of the garage into Chloe's room. Yeah, she can't be going up the steps. Come by my room tonight. Wait, did I read all this? So Max is a druggy. Okay. Are we cool? Just want to make sure since he walked away, Nathan was worried. So we're friends with Nathan too? That's We're friends with all the Vortex Club. If you want to talk, hit me up. If you're mad, just tell me. Silence. So if you want to talk, my door's open. Holy text messages? Thanks again for taking me to see my mom. I think she wants you for a daughter instead of me. Um... It's weird seeing all these conversations with the people we're not friends with in the other timeline. So if Max is herself from the last timeline, then what does she think of all this? Like, oh, I could be friends with someone like Nathan Prescott? You know, you around in the dark room? Developing shots for the contest? Sweet. Oh, in the dark room, in the dark room, in the dark room. Isn't that about Rachel? Don't pout. I hope you didn't forget to water the plant. Wait a minute. Are these texts the same? Or is there like an extra one I missed? It's a shame that you hang out with those people. I thought you were different. I saw you throw that TP at me. I was not aiming at you, I swear. So Max and whatever that girl's name is, Alyssa, don't get along. She throws toilet paper at her. Oh wait, optional photos. Holy crap, I almost missed it. Episode 4, Dark Room. Oh, what was that one? Was it in Chloe's room and I missed it? Probably. And like stacked up rocks or something. I guess there's no journal stuff I gotta read. Wait, there is... 
<laughs> September 4th, 2013. So much to do. I wish I could slow down time, especially to register all the cool things that have happened since I'm back in Arcadia Blackwell rules. Wait, didn't I read this? Yes, I'm older, and thanks to Vic and Nathan, I'm now a bit more fashionable, too. They surprised me with the most beautiful straw pork pie hat wrapped in Feroshiki style. Best birthday party ever. Also, drunkest. Underage drinking, too, now? What the heck? October 4th. Hey, did your diary remember me? She took a long break. And right now, must shoot, must live, must be friend. Should rekindle with Chloe, too. But must vortex first. Party time. Wait, you can see your objective in the journal? I never noticed. I have to go upstairs and get her medicine. Okay, let's see if I can talk to this guy. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> Of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Maybe Chloe can play Outlast with her mouth control joystick. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but I... Uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing we have to mortgage our home and that's pretty scary but but we'll get through it price is always right get it no i don't know how to say this but i'm truly sorry about what happened to chloe me too all it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life but she's alive see she is alive she's a trooper otherwise you'd be dead and she'd be Killing herself by drinking underage. She'll be dead within the next year or two. Glad you're here. Is she mad? Why would she be mad at me? I mean, I kind of kept in touch. I'm so glad you're here to help her and be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is scare her to death, both. hopefully. Max, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. If I take too long, will Chloe pass out from the pain? So nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Yeah, hopefully. She deserves it. Even if it's not the blue hair Chloe, she's still close enough. Uh, which I talk about crazy weather, I don't what know. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe oh, and dollar choice. in the swear jar. My family. You mean your college fund? <laughs> I remember that joke. <laughs> I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber. Oh, yes. Yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. It'll happen soon enough. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question. Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. And of course, he'd be sitting there paying bills right when I walk by. Just to emphasize the fact that it's expensive. Yep, that's the same graffiti from before. Oh, I could just walk right out. To think that our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. Now, I wonder what would change with history. If I was able to go back in time again. 
and stop Chloe's car from running. Maybe Chloe's mom would die. The whole trash can's full of dead birds. Why does Maxine have a long stretchy neck? Good question. What's oh man. This? The swing is gone now. It must have been sad for Chloe when William took it down. Oh, the travel fund now it's is now a cookie cookies. jar. It's kind of funny seeing all the stuff being different. And yes, I mean, haha, -ha funny, because it's good seeing Chloe confined to a bed in a wheelchair. I don't know why, but blue hair Chloe annoys me so much. Ooh, a letter? What does it say? Yeah, Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Aunt Dorothy does it say? Thank you for helping. I need to click this. Thank you for keeping me updated on Chloe's condition. Can't help you with a loan this time. Underwater with my own medical bills. Huh. They bought crutches for Chloe. Hoping she might walk. How again. paralyzed is she? How far up did her back break? Like, can she move her arms? Toys? Must be if she I could. Kind of want to open this and see. Or did they buy those before she's... they knew the extent of her injuries? Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. I never heard much about William's brother. Sorry for not staying in touch since the accident work has been piling up. Hmm. So the whole family feels abandoned. Height chart. It'd be funny if they had like her height when she's sitting in the wheelchair is the most recent one. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. There are no coincidences when time At travels least we involved. Never had to hide from step douche. Give me my morphine injector. Quick, I need it. Okay, I'll go up and I'm sit still down. Overwhelmed by this new reality. I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. Yeah, but her family would have gone through something else otherwise. Who knows, some might consider death a better fate than... Wait, you said this was the longest episode? I thought you said it was the shortest. Dang it. I thought this would be my favorite episode just for that reason. That's weird. Uh, whatever episode it was, episode one, when I got to Chloe's house, I could see all the things to interact with before I turned the light on, but now I had to actually turn the light on before I could. How's it going, Time Tripper? Do Funny. anything. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just when did you medicine. say it was the shortest? I swear you said episode 4 was the shortest. In fact, I guarantee you said that. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Yes, gummy vitamins are definitely going to cure her paralysis. Is that bird here? The one from before? That blue bird... I heard a bird chirp. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. <laughs> Her parents don't even care, just walk in the room. Look at them. They have no idea what's in their future. Hey, that picture's actually set up now. Wasn't it oh, in the no. drawer before? I didn't realize how bad Chloe's injury really was. 
As we discussed, Chloe's respiratory system is showing signs of rapid weakening. Then why are they paying the medical bills? Just let her pass away. This accounts for a recent anemia and loss of breath. As a doctor, I'm committed to her well-being, but I want you to understand the reality that respiratory failure is common in people with severe spinal injuries. Your daughter is one of the bravest, strongest patients I've had, and I'm proud to be working with her. I just want you as parents to prepare for any and all possibility. She should also be made aware, if you'd like to discuss, accusing the viewers. How rude. How rude. A little full house action Joyce up in the stream chat. I remember that show. Mom smokes now? That's where all their money is going. Of course, they can't afford the medical bills. Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. I specifically remember you saying episode four was the shortest. Shortest. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max. You're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. She works in a diner, of course she smokes. Yeah, but I figure with medical bills, the first thing you'd want to quit is the smoking if you're having trouble paying for it all, even if you work at a diner, but I guess she's just a dummy. And maybe they figure, hey, Chloe's going to die soon enough anyway, so why give up old habits? Who helps Chloe out when you guys are at work? We have a series of revolving nurses and caretakers. <laughs> Chloe still causes trouble, even if she can't move. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... She... Do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Choice. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Oh, uh, what to say, David Madsen? Why would I bring that up? She'd be like, oh yeah, he came in the diner before. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you... Pan Estates? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. So you prefer shorter episodes then? I guess so. I mean, a trash game like this, the shorter the better. So... What the do you heck? think is going on here with all of this... Windows noise? Havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Okay, Arc what's that sound? Uh... How can I mute whatever this is? Uh, I don't know. How do I turn off? Well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> 